All right, another problem from chapter 18. You guys know the drill. Um, come up with uh, the pro come up with a product here. Okay, so again, hit pause, go away, do the pro do the problem, and now I'll put the product up. And the product that would be the product. And now you're saying, well, wait a minute, why did it add twice? Here's why it adds twice. So first time, right, this is going to be, this is going to be a Friedel Kratz alkylation. We're going to get this tertiary we're going to get this tertiary uh, carbocation. The benzene's going to attack it. We're going to end up Given the sterics, given how large this group is, we're probably going to end up with the para position. Okay, but, sorry, it's not methoxy. Uh, sorry, my bad. All right, we're going to have an ethoxy there. And now, ethoxy is a strong donor. This is an alkyl group. It's still a strong donor. So this ring is actually more active than the first ring, right? We've added an activating group. More active, so less active, more active. And so then it's gonna add twice. And at that point, it probably does stop based on sterics. You've still added a, a you know, now you have three activating groups on the ring. But now, if you, if you put another group there, this ethoxy group gets squeezed pretty hard, and so it probably won't go on twice. And you might think that's a trick question. It is a trick question. You can probably control this, and not just with temperature, but you can control it with concentration. Right? You can use a whole bunch of this and not a lot of that, um, and lower the temperature and stop it here. But it's really hard to stop. It is often hard to stop alkylations at one addition because you're adding an activating group. 